everyone and welcome to beautiful Munich, Germany, home to Oktoberfest, Bayern Munich and of course beautiful Bavarian culture. But most importantly to you and me, it's also home to some amazing places to eat at. So today in this video, we're going to be sharing with you some places that we ate at that we absolutely love. As you can tell from my winterly, winterly all black attire, we are here visiting in the middle of winter of course. So a lot of the typical beer garden experiences won't be present on this list. But winter obstacles aside, I still hope that you find this list useful on your trip here to Munich. So without further ado, let's check it out. Now, we all know the importance of a wholesome and balanced breakfast, so either Bavaria missed that lecture or they know something that we don't, because we just had to experience the phenomenon that is beer for breakfast at Schneider Bräuhaus. This place is a classic beer hall, but it's also one of the best places to experience a Bavarian breakfast in the old town. We indulge in our fair share of Weisswurst, which is the breakfast sausage of choice in Munich, complete with an addicting sweet mustard and of course the iconic pretzel. We even got a dish called the Sturdy Sepp, which came with toasty pretzel bread, a slice of Leberkäse, and of course a fried egg to complete the breakfast vibes. Wash it all down with our house-brewed beer, of course, and you've got the most nutritious start to your day of exploring. If you're leaning towards a sweet breakfast, then Café Frischut is another spot in Munich to grab a tea or coffee, and munch on some delicious but affordable bites as well. They're well known for their signature schmaltznudel, which is a fried dough that's crispy and light on the outside and thin and elastic on the inside. They also do other equally as good pastries such as the simple stritzel, your classic German donut or krapfen that's filled with a delicious apricot jam and these heavenly light fluffy and caramelized buns called Rohrnudel. They have quite a limited menu but you can tell that they've really nailed down these simple but beautiful pastries. Markets are the best introduction to a city's food culture, so of course a stop at the famous Victualian Market is essential when in Munich. This beautiful local feeling market is open from 8am Monday to Saturday and it truly has it all. You've got fresh fruit and veg, butcheries, seafood and deli items for your grocery shopping, and of course a good helping of food and free samples to keep you full during your visit. You can start off your day with a coffee at the Café Rosteri Victualian Market or stuff yourself with an endless amount of sauce sausages, sandwiches and meats at Schlemmer Meyer's Leckerbissen. Also very handy are the free water fountains around the market so no need for bottled water. We didn't get to experience all the market has to offer but they even have a beer garden in the warmer months, a soup kitchen, other restaurants, bakeries and much more. Now my favorite thing about Munich is their absolutely strong sausage game. And Nuremberger Bratwurst Glockel Am Dom does some amazingly juicy, juicy sausages. This place feels so rustic and it has over 100 years of history. But first, we started with a beautiful Bavarian butcher's platter which was filled with all sorts of deli meats, veggies, and a scoop of the iconic obatsta or Bavarian cheese spread. We got three types of sausages from their super juicy cheese sausage, the peppery Stadwurst, and my personal favorite, the simple but meaty Ross Bratwurst. We also got them with some sides of classic sauerkraut or fermented cabbage, a creamy potato salad, and some tableside sachets of mustard. Of course, Dad and the bro wash it down with an Augustina beer and a Radler, which is half beer and half lemonade. You honestly can't go wrong with sausages in Munich, and as I like to say, German sausage game, strong. Also, make sure to leave room for their incredible Kaiserschmarrn. It's a popular dessert in Bavaria that's made with shredded up pancakes served with applesauce that is absolutely fluffy and caramelized. I just can't stop thinking about it. Speaking of sausages, you can't not have currywurst when you're in Munich. It's a German food icon and the folks at Bergwolf really do some mean currywurst. They were absolutely packed when we went, especially filled with young students looking for some affordable and comforting fast food. It's basically fries served with a sausage that's slathered with the signature curry ketchup for a spicious and tomatoey tang. Can't forget the mayo as well, which is the perfect condiment with fries and that's just facts. We got two types of Bergwolf, one with white bratwurst and another with a more intense red bratwurst, which were both top tier. The bro even washed it down with another refreshing Rattler. There really is no excuse to miss this place too because it's right next to the U-Bahn station for ensured easy access. Currywurst may be the most iconic German fast food invention, but the Doner Kebab is just as equally highly regarded for a quick snack or a late night meal. 
A quick Reddit search led us to West End's best donor for what some people think is the best donor kebab in the city. I honestly can't argue with the people claiming that because one bite into this pocket of heavenly chicken, salad, and sauce, I was sold. This stuff was exceptional. We got our donors with everything in it, of course, and peeped that swaggy Salt Bay action from one of the chefs, oh yeah. We also grabbed a Lama Jun wrap filled with meat and salad that was equally as delicious. They even make their pita in-house, and the quality of this fluffy yet crisp pita really shows. I also love the pickled chilies and chili powder that they have on the table, and you know I was having that with every bite. West End's best donor, I mean, it's really in the name. Beer gardens are one of the great joys of visiting Munich, but unfortunately for us, the winter months meant most beer gardens were closed. We were still adamant on getting even the slightest crumb of beer garden experience, and luckily there was a small stall braving out the cold right next to the famous Chinese tower in the English garden. There wasn't much in terms of food, but we still got a couple of snacks such as a bratwurst sandwich, some pretzels, and even some more currywurst. I also opted for a Glühwein or mulled wine instead of a beer to warm me up. The Chinese garden does blossom into one of the largest and most popular beer gardens in the city, so we know for certain that we're gonna have to run it back the next time we visit Munich. One week bender, here we go. And because we didn't get to properly experience a beer garden, we knew we had to at least experience the world famous Hofbräuhaus. This absolutely gigantic beer hall may be characterized as too touristy for some, but you cannot deny that this place is filled with history and brimming with energy, not only from the booming Bavarian band, but also from fellow tourists like us. They do your classic Bavarian beer hall food, which admittedly won't blow your taste buds off, but it was still tasty enough to accompany our Hofbräu beers. Dad did the right thing getting the mandatory 1 liter beer, whereas I got a measly half liter dark beer. What a rookie mistake. We ordered their Schweinsachse or roasted pork hock that's served with gravy and a potato dumpling, some suckling pig, my sister's favorite, the cheesy Kesha Spitzler, a shredded pancake soup, and we ended the night with a comforting apple strudel. Touristy or not, the Hofbräu house was truly a good time. I mean, just ask this guy. Now, if you're looking for good food away from the busy old town, then just across the river Isar is Wirtshaus in der Au, a rustic local tavern that specializes in kadodel or German dumplings. Usually, you'll find plain potato or bread dumplings alongside your main dish throughout Munich, but at Wirtshaus in der Au, the bread dumpling is the star. We got a beautiful red beetroot dumpling paired with a refreshing apple and celery mix with sour cream and a spinach dumpling on a bed of tangy cherry tomato sauce and pesto. Both dumplings were bouncy and delightfully chewy. They're also well known for the roast duck here. It's perfectly roasted with tender meat and succulent skin, and of course, it's served with a dumpling. And if you're looking to take off your Munich beer tour, they serve Polana beer. I do love some good old German schnitzel, so if you're looking for some of the best, then Augustina Drei Mühlen has got you. It's a spot filled with locals and is a bus ride away from the old town. They do a lot of different schnitzel flavors, but we opted for the Isar schnitzel paired with a lovely mushroom sauce. I mean, who doesn't love the look of that? This is your classic breaded veal schnitzel that's marinated in mustard and goes perfectly with a generous spritz of lemon. We also got their schnitzel Drei Mühlen, which uses a pretzel crumb instead. Great move pairing this with the cranberry sauce because it was a perfect pairing. Their Liebhaber Platte was also amazing. It's a platter of organ meats from liver, heart, and even spleen sausage, which was actually our favorite, but low-key the best part were the jammy caramelized onions. Great local spot, and like the name suggests, they serve Augustina beer. Last but not least, we have another Augustiner spot, Augustiner Klosterwort. I made the grave mistake of not getting a 1 liter beer at the Hofbräu house, but I earned my redemption here, not without great difficulty, of course. This place is another enormous beer hall with two levels to fit in, and they've got the comforting beer hall food to go with it. The sis couldn't resist getting another Keja Spätzle, and they do a goodie in here too. I love the crispy onions on top, honestly. More sausages were in order because we just had to, and as expected, these were glorious because you already know... German sausage game? 
strong. We got some Schweinebraten, which was rightfully fall apart with a super crispy crackling. And we even got to try the German national dish of Sauerbraten, which is a unique roast dish that feels like a mother's hug with its complex and fruity sauce made with a variety of spices and gingerbread. Sorry, Gingy. You're a monster! Honestly, the one liter beer made this meal such a battle, and you could tell because I must have set a new personal record for fastest time to fall asleep after this meal. So yeah, get your stomach ready for Munich because it's all beer, meats, and carbs in different shapes, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And if you want to see more of these places and our food and travel adventures in Munich, then be sure to watch the full vlogs over on our YouTube channel. Anyway guys, that does it for our list. Obviously, this only scratches the surface of the sheer amount of beautiful food you can eat in Munich. But anyway, whether you're here for a calm holiday or a cheeky five-night bender, we all know what you are going for, really. <laughs> Munich really does have the beautiful food to match its amazing architecture and culture. Anyway guys, we hope you found this list helpful and enjoy your stay in Munich. Bye-bye. <laughs>